Good morning. This is Yi Chen from Taku in Cupertino. Here we see you again. This is the Sunday sound sharing session. So uh, I did a little bit meditation this morning before I came over and just uh, tried to prepare, but nothing really came through. But anyway, so we're going to start. We're going to do this anyway uh, as usual. But I feel like I strongly feel like I need to play more flute today, uh, especially my uh, this uh, hummingbird hummingbird flute. You rarely uh, see me playing this one because this one is a higher pitch. You know, most people they tend to like the uh, the other two the other two better, but I think uh, this one has been uh, calling for attention. You know, that I need to uh, you know. Uh, play this one today at least But anyway, so uh, if you like you can take a few deep breath and just uh, kind of calm your mind your body and then uh, Focus on yourself And clear your mind and then you know just uh, going along with our, our session uh, you can close your eyes, uh, which I recommended, so that way you don't you don't get distracted with the, how I play or you know uh, how I present myself here. Okay. <laughs> but interesting happened this week. I talked to one of my customer in uh, Auckland, and then. Uh, we have uh, we trigger a lot of uh, interesting uh, communication and connection. So uh, uh, I'm going to go up to uh, uh, Oakland. No, I'm going to go up to Poland uh, next weekend, and then just see, try to do a little bit of uh, out of state market research, as well as connecting with the uh, uh, energy there. I guess. Uh, my territory has been expanded, you know, reaching out to the uh, Oakland uh, state. So uh, that's good. Uh, something new, something different, and then more responsibility, I guess. But uh, we'll see how this goes uh, in terms of uh, uh, for the Taku business uh, expansion, you know, uh, as well as the uh, spiritual uh, journey growing and learning, like uh, this uh, spiritual retreat, uh, help more people to find their home, you know. So that's basically uh, what triggered the, uh, you know, because of my uh, experience with Mount Shasta, uh, triggered this, uh, you know, conversation. No, actually, uh, the customer uh, feedback about the a part that he she get she got and then somehow you know misused so I responded you know in a professional way and then uh, one thing led to the other so the spirit arranged those kind of thing very uh, interestingly all the time you can you don't really uh, you can really expect uh, what's going to happen you know so just let it go, surrender, and turn it over. Because I I would have never thought of, uh, you know, by having interaction with this customer, that would trigger this uh, spiritual uh, connection, you know, at all. But anyway, so that was a very interesting uh, happening to me, you know, this this past week. So that's very good. Uh, everything happened so quickly. Uh, so, you know, uh, I'll just go for it. You know, go with it. Go with the flow and follow the guidance. So what else I want to say? Okay, this morning I, I watched YouTube and some uh, couple of a video popped up and talk about the, uh, uh, the hypnosis uh, master, you know, from St. Louis, Missouri, uh, uh, Miss Cannon, and uh, she passed away a few, few years ago, but she has been published, she had, 
she had published a lot of uh, many many books about aliens and hypnosis and she she is very famous and then uh, I watched those two videos somehow they talk about same thing but it's from different uh, a YouTuber uh, so in in the video uh, they talk about the three waves of a, a soul stars star seeds they came down to help the uh, uh, earth ascension and humanity ascension uh, consciousness awakening uh, the first first uh, first wave was uh, back in uh, right after 1945 and then you know that was the first wave so that would be like people maybe right now it's about uh 80 years old 80 something 70 some 70 something 80 years old and second wave would be like uh, uh people like uh, right now they are they are help uh, about the uh, 50 50 60 years old and then the third wave would be the newest uh, generation that we have we call like a uh, crystal child, uh, indigo child, and rainbow child, those uh, new generation. The third wave, they do have a advanced a DNA that already uh, implement before they uh, reincarnate down to the earth. So a lot of the people or a lot of the soul that they are not necessarily that they are uh, been on the earth for so many many lifetimes but those three waves of uh, uh, star seeds that they volunteer to come down to uh, to be a, a, a human uh, on the earth to help uh, our uh, consciousness uh, enhancement and increasing as well as the mother earth's uh, ascension you know so uh, if you if you're interesting to find out you can just you know go online and look up the uh, you know three waves of uh, star seeds you know uh, or you can tap into a uh, miss uh, cannon's uh, you know uh, books or videos that I'm sure you can find something but that's just something I happen to see it this morning and it happened to be two of the video I, I watched uh, from different youtubers they, they talk about same thing so I guess that's the spirit guiding me to you know kind of a, a very obvious uh, signal or obvious sign that I should share this uh, uh, briefly information to uh, to you today but anyway our focus is still on this uh, sound sharing so that's what we're going to talk about today and then we're going to start it our sound sharing and then started with the ball and then we'll go into the blue play and then so just enjoy this uh, session with us okay so uh, take a few deep breaths if you like and close your eyes And uh, if you like, you can focus on your heart chakra as well as uh, third eye chakra. Or any chakra you like to focus on. Or you can both uh, focus on them all together. By visualizing the rainbow color which is uh, resonate respectfully with uh, each individual seven chakras that we have red orange yellow uh, green uh, blue indigo and then violet violet purple uh, that way you can just visualize uh, which chakra you like to work on it or you can just visualize all the rainbow colors together coming down from the source of the universe which is that's where we came from uh, that's where we came from and then going through your body and help you to uh, align your chakras and then open up your chakra uh, whichever that you needed 
you wanted to focus on? If you specifically feel like a specific chakra that you want to work on the most, just visualize, focus on that, uh, the, the color of uh, resonate with the, uh, uh, the chakra that you want to work on. So the root chakra would be the uh, red, the color of red. chakra which is uh, where our creativity where our inner child is it's a uh, color of orange between blue and the purple. And now Kwan Chakra is the color of the purple, it's violet, okay? So work on whichever chakra you like to work on it by visualizing, visualizing the uh, respectly uh, uh, resonate uh, color and then channel down through the source of the universe and then going through your body to the chakra the location of the chakra in your body to help you to enhance and open up and align in your body make you know balance balance your chakra system before we uh, level up to our 13 chakra system. higher perspective to see it, to experience it without being involved yourself. 
from third third party's、uh, point of view to see or feel whatever the pictures or whatever life experience that came back to you. Just、uh, take another deep breath because we are going to switch to the blue play. 
it will be different uh, vibration and frequency. So we take another deep breath.
Okay, slowly you can come back. Take a deep breath. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. more than three times. I was just reminded to do this because, you know, if you follow me long enough, you know, uh, Ray, my partner, he used to do this at the end of our session. So just kind of uh, <clears throat> honor him, you know, as, a, as my life partner, as well as a soulmate. You know, and today, interesting, I play this blue. It actually made me start loving this, the sound of it. I guess it's, uh, it's time for me to, uh, you know, tap into the, uh, the frequency and the vibration of this, uh, the flu, this uh, hummingbird flu sound, you know, because uh, this one is a higher pitch. So actually when I was playing, I feel like a part of my, uh, this uh, head over there in the back, kind of, uh, I feel something, you know, resonate or initiate or, you know, with the sound that I play while I was playing this blues. So it's interesting. Um, uh, so I guess it's time to play this blue more uh, just because of its time, you know, the vibration and frequency is there already so uh, in the future I'll play more I mean I, I, I love play all of them but uh, you know this one just to keep calling I need some attention I need some attention so I'll pl I play that today so that's it uh, so that will be our session today and thank you for being with us today and we will see you next time thank you bye bye